components. And for another element of start, I will share the screen. Uh, do, 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 um, here. Um, because if we are in a small group, we could uh, like go through the ideas uh, first and then see how long we want to take with them. But, um, but as a kind of prelude um, of the last session, um, Mikael, um, my memory is, you were there or? No, um, unfortunately yeah, 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 I wasn't. You were not, yeah. yes, that's what I'm yeah. thinking. Like, uh, because, um, so maybe a slight summary um, in terms of that, like, uh, uh, it's actually this material for the summary could be right about here. So, um, so this was a kind of a play form, um, you could say, uh, that uh, was underlining like certain possibilities were tapping with this form, this layer filter form. Um, and the, uh, there could be many things said, but I will just underline a couple. And the one key thing that opened up from this, so essentially in a somewhat playful manner, we started playing in quote unquote a dungeon. And, and like, of course the dungeon map here is a very uh, line-based diagram, but nevertheless, like a room, a corridor, another room kind of an approach, uh, which you might be seeing on the screen or like I'm sharing the screen at, from there. Um, but uh, so, but here, um, the idea was that there is isn't that one can view this play from several perspectives, like um, in a way, or one, from one perspective, yes, this is a room, but from another perspective, you can think about it uh, like a game board, or from another perspective, a kind of a diagram, and they're all kind of playable ways in it. Like the one way I kind of introduced this was like to introduce a room, uh, by uh, that uh, I had a room called Explorations of Offers and people walked in, decided to go there, therefore they walked in there, quote unquote. But the quote unquote furniture in the room was, um, was essentially, well, we made a lot of this furniture, um, uh, was uh, essentially this sort of, um, material you could think of being in a diagram on a board. But it behaves like a furniture in the sense that it's, it's, it's almost like you can pick up any topic if you want to pick it up or not pick it. So you can treat it like a furniture in a dungeon room. So, so this was at the same time a process space for blowing up the concept of an offer uh, that often the offer is thought in a kind of like, almost like a shackled down manner that uh, that the meaning is not quite clear, and, uh, but it's also kind of maybe limited. So this was a process space of blowing up around like what's in association with the offer and therefore getting a wider map of it. Um, so that, that was kind of the process space, which could be treated as kind of a dungeon where whatever is placed in the space is, is like furniture, and can be addressed or not addressed, or uh, can be delved deep, uh, more deep, uh, deeply into it, which is kind of similar than in a dungeon, if you pick up an object and you look at it, you get more details out of it. But it can also be treated like a diagram and people could add new elements. And it can also be treated like a game board and you can add new rules, like uh, during the game, there were a couple of uh, like role added that is in this room, which is an offerer or, uh, there was a type added, which was this furniture type, which uh, uh, created the sense of this furniture. So this is this is looking things and looking at the space in uh, in terms of it being a game board. So uh, that's a lot of things in in a kind of a short package. But uh, and there were a lot of other things. But this perspectivism and how a certain space of meaning or, or a process can be approached uh, from multiple perspectives and those all of those perspectives can live at the same time. And, and it's almost like one, 
further choice in your choices of which perspective you decide to play from was uh, was maybe one of these uh, uh, key uh, aspects here. Uh, so yeah, like uh, there's also like a, uh, like just to highlight another example, there is a book in the dungeon, but it's a link to an actual book, the experimental phenom phenomenology, and so on and so forth. Any anything you would like to add, Pablo, to this? Um, yeah summary uh, yeah i mean i think it was quite a good summary mm -hmm. at the end of our session we sort of like talked about the um, um how the challenge of the challenges of framing it as a mega dungeon while still looking at it from above kind of mm -hmm. as a map yeah and we sort of like implied the importance of creating the atmosphere of the dungeon so we did some description work uh, yeah. about how the dungeon looked, <laughs> which I found uh, important in, in creating the setting. Um, and yeah. also maybe even uh, flirted with the idea of how do we make it so that we encounter the dungeon in a first person view where the walls are actually blocking the view, for example, or where we feel inside of it. Like, is that relevant? And if so, why? And how can we get closer to that? Yeah. So yeah. I, yeah. That's uh, actually the last part is a good example that which you mentioned. Like it's here in the ante room of perspectivism, which is another room. Here, like these modes, we wrote uh, were created kind of like pointing out what was happening in these perspectives, and this is kind of. You could, in one way, think about these as notes about these perspectives that can be played. But when we placed it in this room, we also described it. It was like, uh, like there is this room with a stone, stone slab where there is like, I think it was hastily carved or kind of badly carved, these things, these the same words. So it's both a kind of notes in a way, uh, in a diagram, uh, it could be also rules in a game, like these are the modes you can play. But you can also take this, like um, like when you add this color or uh, nuance of it being a stone slab, and there were some other details in this room, which I cannot remember now that we added, that adds qualities that are actually extra semantic, so to speak, um, to it, which otherwise would never be added. Like, uh, and uh, And what does it mean that there is this room maybe has other characteristics and then it has this stone slab and then it has this sort of modes written in there so yeah like this this was an example where we kind of already started to play towards this uh, multi-perspective play intentionally yeah but the one thing uh, uh, to highlight from here and this is kind of in the comments of the a telegram message was that and we talked about this also like this opens up a huge range of possibilities it's it's more on the kind of engine side of things and and then there was some dis, uh, discussion about like okay but from this engine you could build like essentially an infinite amount of games um like uh and one practical example i made up on the fly kind of was it Martin uh, who asked about like, or was it you, Pablo, that uh, like, what if one introduced this to say a normal organization? How could they use this? And then this, uh, uh, like a quick idea was, okay, you uh, together list out different, th different kind of re uh, recurring patterns. Like we have a decision meeting every week. We have like this design rule. They can be like time-based or place-based, whatever. But you just quickly describe them from the organization and you kind of make them rules. Uh, this is something that people can easily do, but uh, and they don't e even have to think about the room aspect now. They just make them like different areas. Then you fill these areas by just putting stuff in there uh, like even just sentences that you think fits there. Like for example, in the design room, uh, the atmosphere is like this, and this 
quality of the atmosphere is important or um, like some other qualities that people might add like uh, always before a decision there is a discussion or this this decision mechanic is this whatever they they fill the rules essentially but then at that point you could turn the perspective into either a board game or um, a room in a way uh, and start to expand around what has so far been placed there as kind of normal things like okay like now that these people have kind of taken their normal recurring states of being or process states and and describe them in a kind of normally fashion they suddenly become play pieces and they can be played into many directions so that that was an example of kind of uh calibrating from the engine like making a calibration but that was a quick one uh and that kind of leads us to today and I'll, I'll just paint this picture of a certain kind of a game or game-like approach um which i is highly drafty and uh uh early but i think of course is supported by many of the approaches here it, it, so it could be quickly played also but um but just to kind of come up with uh, the paradigm of it like think of this sort of rooms as these are like uh, these two rooms as kind of modular that you could have almost like cards essentially like uh, and you could uh pick these cards these rooms up um maybe ready-made maybe you could uh have some pieces filled and you fill your own or you just completely modify and in in the rooms the rooms are really at the same time process state so so for example this has in the beginning a puzzle so called and the puzzle is decide upon an idea direction so it's playing these two sides again, like it's a puzzle that is, you don't know the answer, but it's actually kind of um, normal thing you would have in say an organizational process. I, I put maybe even a two normal thing, decide upon an idea direction, but it's the puzzle of this room. And then towards this puzzle, there are some roles, some operations, like um, I put, somewhat wacky roles to counteract my super normal uh, puzzle content. Um, so there is a role of a proposer who seeks to turn the situation, whatever is uh, uh, having been conversed about into a proposal, which is kind of feeding towards the um, idea direction. Uh, so, um, and but then there is somebody who breaks it there's a what about her who searches for alterations or alternatives there's an impressionist uh, expresses in impressions even wake turning them into descriptions like this brings to my mind this kind of image this kind of thing an optioner um and of course it's not meant to be uh exhaustive like people could uh it's it's kind of illustrative of what can one could do with the roles but you could have many more and also it's not meant to be well the roles are once again like furniture you don't have to play always the same role and always have a role but you can kind of pick them when you need them like i want to play now the proposer uh to get us going with the idea and put something on the table and then there were a couple of ops uh once again usable like you could move change into the mode of shift which is one sentence as one move like maybe to change the conversation of course you could have a normal conversation play or write as a move to emphasize that um is that somebody anybody can take the right move and write a proposal for the puzzle or a statement towards it so altogether this is a modular piece kind of because it's a process state it can also be thought of as this sort of organizational process state but it's also kind of like a game board uh, uh, because it's it's like setting some rules and it's setting about a certain kind of a process in itself and now if you think that you could have these sort of modular pieces 
and then you could organize them into a quote unquote dungeon, you already have a weird gamey organization. Um, and I thought that has some interesting qualities, nuances in it as a direction. So I thought just throwing this to you as like what kind of impression, ideas, comments it creates. So yeah, here we are. I like it. Um, yeah, I, yeah, seems nice and fun. Let's, uh, how do we start? I mean, we can, we can even start playing this or we can choose the other one. Um, ah, there's another one. Yeah, mm -hmm. which I was playing around, like there's probably way better ways to use this, but I was just like putting things that came to my mind. For example, this has a puzzle where you can select one that your puzzle is process of decision or a setup for design. I should have really come up with a more wacky puzzle, but maybe you can add it. And then there's three ops. There could be roles, but I started with the ops here, which is um, like uh, here you can add um, uh, an element that contributes to the filling of the puzzle, which is of course up to you to de uh, decide what fills the puzzle. But it could be like, we should think about this or whatever you think that it, it's not filling it completely, but partially filling uh, is enough. And then move as yes, move elements added to or organize them. So if somebody added something, you can take the move of organizing them in different uh, forms. And then question, which is uh, putting in a question that sheds light or opens uh, areas to uh, on the puzzle itself. And this is once again not exhaustive. I threw this in for to give some substance and color to it, but but more as like a draft that can be added to. And this one has the same roles as the other one? Uh, could, could have mm -hmm. no roles. You don't necessarily need even roles, yeah. but you could, you, or you could add roles. Of course, you could copy all the roles from there. Uh, um, like this is kind of like, I think it's, it's Constantly, there's possibility to design and play as uh, both are available for all players now. But we can even play it in the sense like, or pick one to play, maybe. Yeah, I I like the kind of uh, simplicity uh, here. Uh, kind of uh, what I understood from the kind of uh, rooms uh, and i really liked earlier that you described the last session that like uh, uh, what you see here is like two-dimensional but once you go inside uh, it turns into three-dimensional more like design space uh, with furniture and and so on and at the same time uh, yeah yeah I, I i also think that the kind of ops and roles they uh, they are <laughs> a uh, different angle but very similar uh, to each other actually mm -hmm. uh, what you could for instance do you could uh, you could uh, kind of uh, uh, take an ops and uh, one, one single ops and uh, kind of wrap a role around it kind of yeah uh, it, it would be kind of uh, okay uh, like a question that sheds light on the puzzle uh, could also be questioner and and so on yeah, definitely. Like, uh, there, there is a definitely a Venn diagramish uh, quality to the ops and uh, roles. Like, ops are essentially kind of moves, and and often a role is a combination of some description, but it's usually also contains moves. If one thinks of say uh, certain kinds of games, and and like, uh, but uh, like it's I I don't really believe in kind of uh, one could call it like platonic separation that if you create a category it must not overlap at all into mm -hmm. with the other it must be independent um like uh so the fact that the ops and roles overlap is fine uh and like here i put the roles uh into like slightly different service it's it's like highly interpretational um and then the moves were more in the service of kind of almost board yeah. gamey, 
but it doesn't have to be that way. Like you could, like you said, you could take an op and wrap it into into a role, and that's completely okay. Like, um, um, yeah. Um, yeah, and, yeah, and really, like uh, uh, here, like uh, in the in the in the left one, uh, it's like uh, every one of those roles uh, kind of uh, uh, kind of uh, have uh, kind of uh, inside those roles, you have the capabilities of these uh, ops that are listed there. Yeah, 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 yeah. and it certainly could be better because I uh, I kind of wanted to describe the idea, but. I didn't put much polish, but but I do think it's enough certainly for us to to play around with. Yeah, yeah, that that's great, and that's very 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 uh, clear to me. And and like uh, and uh, I, I I really think that they are very they're very like uh, generative. They kind of uh, those roles. They they seem to kind of play with the uh, with the same kind of like tokens or so on because because they the kind of material they they process uh, is essentially the the same. The kind of uh, uh, expression or whatever it is they are kind of uh, either like processing or generating and, and so on. Yeah, I and and to kind of start off and while at the same time maybe um, showing qualities. So if me, I pick the proposer just to have a role and, and I put this to the side, uh, I'm now telling you, uh, maybe an outside reader wouldn't know this, but you, you can know this, that I put it to the side partly to put it as like a minor proposal, but um, like, more as an example of now I, I, I now played this, which is like a decide upon a, a direction, create a paragraph um, um, uh, uh, to which I could, for example, play as a water voucher, like uh, what about two sentences or, or as just me, I could create something. But now this text, of course, is kind of like a playing or is like a playing piece in itself. It's also also kind of like a furniture, so we can think like uh, somebody goes and and investigates this, create a paragraph, or creates more in it, like like maybe puts a question, what kind of a par paragraph, and kind of creates more details, just like you would go to an object and look at it, you will see more details. So like focusing upon something is generative in itself. So. So everything one kind of puts here kind of becomes a play piece, movable, well, um, a layer filter or something like that. Uh, and, but then now we have this around that we could imagine ourselves to be in the situation that we are kind of creating organization out of cards, maybe semi-seriously, maybe not seriously at all. And we are trying out different cards and saying like, oh, this is cool this doesn't quite work but we could add this piece and then after changing the card we put it aside or on in terms of okay this this is one we'll keep or you know there there's this uh image of this kind of pot potential process that could come out of it but yes any Meta comments, moves as always, of course, welcome. Um, yeah, I think we should um, go ahead with this. I don't know if you want to solidify this proposed move of create a paragraph or if it was just an example. It's an example. Um, I mean, you have the complete option. You can take it, you can uh, create another propo uh, proposal because it's existing as a proposal. You can even write a new puzzle or a role uh, to change the game in itself. I like the, um, the second puzzle because I understand it less, like okay. a process of design of, sorry, a process of decision or asset for design. Like yeah. I don't even know exactly what those mean. So we I don't know, them. I'm more, more drawn to it. What about me, Carl? You like <laughs> that's perfectly okay to to choose that one. <laughs> yes. Of course, like these were modular, but 
just by adding, uh, let me see if I do this correctly. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. One, one, there can be a corridor between them. Yeah. <laughs> so you can be in either room or be, switch with a walk between them. Yeah, I was I was just thinking that uh, could it be uh, kind of a, a, as a as a newbie uh, with the, with this puzzle puzzle uh, would it be kind of uh, okay to use the roles uh, or uh, to support uh, playing playing that other other puzzle uh, yeah. the roles that you have there or or so on. yeah yeah you can yeah even copy them or take some of them or yeah. That would, that would be it's, a good yes. Yeah, they're a kind of uh, cool uh, kind of uh, frame for for kind of uh, trying to get uh, get uh, get uh, get an idea. But I'm not, I'm not uh, suggesting that we need to stick in in uh, to have a role and stick in uh, stick with it. But uh, but more like uh, uh, I I seem to uh, like that like uh, that uh, uh, how uh, how they are put there yeah yeah uh just do it i encourage all the moves that you can do like uh like uh copying them we should i should have really put here a role of a designer also uh hello jakub we're in the mirror board there is a <laughs> uh, the, um, you can check from the screen the area we're in if you're and we're trying out um, process states as rooms, as modular cards that can be used to create organizations seriously or non-seriously or anything in between, um, which is a, a backy calibration from the wide, wide engine we created last time or kind of pointed out. Uh, so a narrower, but kind of, points out uh, to a very interesting organizational quality of creating organizations out of cards. And I think you can kind of get the um, moves as as we're, what's happening as we're kind of um, playing, but also if you have any questions, just draw in. Uh, and if you don't find the area, tell, uh, I can guide you to it. Thank you. I guess I did a, an unexpected move, just like appearing from nowhere and now. Um, mm. yeah. uh, but a welcome, unexpected, but welcome. Or <laughs> um, like maybe 10% expected, maybe 15, 20, somewhere there. So, so that's, uh, we can think of um, unexpected, expected as a gradient sometimes. Um, but okay, Mikael has done a move. He added the uh, roles um, with the quality of somewhat optional, which is interesting to the second room um, in itself, which Pablo wanted to play. And because you wanted to play the second room, you, you should make a move, Pablo, yeah. unless you are already made. I, I like this somewhat optional because, of course, optional already implies that, it, that you can use it or not, but the somewhat optional to me mm -hmm. implies like a passive aggressive you should use it you can skip mm -hmm. it but you should use it <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yeah i'll sorry. i'll no no that's fine i'll i'll add a move to so this is towards the first puzzle you can pick the other one as well but i'll i'll add a piece called not voting uh, no it yeah so process of decision but it's not voting um, of course, somebody can kind of um, still come up with the mo voting as a, in another corner of the room, but uh, I thought it, it's interesting to think about processes of decision that are not voting. So this, this was an ad, and this was partially filling the puzzle of the process of decision. So um, because now we know from its wake space uh, if we take this, that it, at least it's not voting. It's a process of decision that is not voting. So it's it's feeling something. So I'm gonna, what about, I'm gonna, mm. yeah. What about if we have someone that makes the decision, but that someone 
changes somewhat of like a liquid monarch let's say that's cool like do add it as a text uh, is, and in, i would heartily recommend uh including the liquid monarch term <laughs> um, because it's a cool term um, um yeah I, I should put like a up here that everything is kind of proposal but maybe, I'm, maybe we don't have to write it we can think about it as like uh in that sense uh i could actually add to that and like add it to its side um these could be roles so to your like that there's somebody who makes the decision and somebody who changes it like um like um if you're adding that i will put this next to it that these could be roles the decider and the changer and what that means i don't well i have a sense of it but i don't have an exact meaning of it but here we can play with uncertainties like we can play with semi-certain or semi-formalized things i think actually that is important or a very interesting and useful quality is to think about like when you're adding pieces it's, it's a little bit like uh, like a sculpture chipping on a, a block of granite every chip is adding um a detail which might even be change but uh without those chipping it's uh the, the sculpture doesn't appear so not voting is chipping on the granite in a way like there is some shape to the um to the towards the sculpture rather yeah mike i i would have a question kind of uh because normally people say that whenever you vote uh it's it's good and uh, and you 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 kind of uh, use your power power of expression for the good uh, of everyone and and so on uh what if the liquid monarch uh would be something someone who uh kind of ha you know, is like has the power as you say, said has the power to kind of make decisions but but then again uh, whenever you don't make a, a decision uh, you are kind of uh, reward, rewarded somehow or something like some, something like that so so that the, the monarch wouldn't need to uh, use its uh, kind of uh, ultimate power that of course is uh, is also like changing between between the actors but but uh, who is the monarch but but somehow like a, a, a kind of a, uh, uh, the kind of uh, encouraging, in a way, uh, to not vote uh, unless uh, you need to, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's an interesting one. I, I would encourage adding all of these because it's it's actually like what I'm seeing is that this also kind of is to, like the process itself is developing unusual ways of looking at decision, which in itself is a is a is a path of progress in a way. Mm. Because it's kind of opening up uh, from, uh, like it's taking us like almost forcefully out of the normal thinking of these issues. Um, because I also like, I have another role that could be um, uh, added to this. Uh, which is good. So these are kind of what about uh, what about this um, with So I added um, that there, there could be a third one, like there is a, a, the liquid monarch, uh, but then there is also the changer. This was from Pablo anyway, 
like I just copied what you said earlier, that the, the uh, like after the decision is made, there's a one who changes it, but there could also be a contexter, which is the one who decides to which context the decision applies. So they could say it uh, applies every Friday or it applies to this sort of um, uh, particular session, or it could say that it applies to, um, uh, I don't know, a derivative organization made of our organization, whatever it is. Like, or they could say it applies to the whole organization. I came up with, um, with another what about, sort of like trying to integrate Mikael's proposal, which I really like. The, that it's rewarded when not using. Uh, yeah. So what if the liquid monarch is not so much a role, but maybe an item that confers you the capacity of choosing? Um, and maybe there's a mechanism in which it rewards you for not using its powers, even though you have them. I'm not sure if this is like a punishment system where maybe it loses a gem, a decision gem every time you use it and then it becomes less powerful or that it, it is a um, positive force that it becomes more powerful when you don't use it. But then I don't know what happens with that power. I guess that's a question that remains open. Now that's a really interesting direction. There is even uh, one game, I can't remember its name, I'm trying to, maybe there was a crimson in the name, but it, it uses the mechanic of like the decision making is kind of a baton that it's being passed and there are certain rules of how it's being passed and th there was actually maybe two or three objects like one is deciding well for us there could be now using this model there could be the object of a liquid monarch and the object of the changer and object of the contexture and those could pass of course we don't need to make all of these objects but it's an interesting direction uh, uh, because, for example, that game was quite interesting because of this. Uh, so it's already kind of, I think, fertile, this direction. And I like this whole direction of, like, um, that Mikael opened this sort of, like, if some somebody, like, if, if the rules were that, like, when you hold it, you have the power to decide or decide not to decide, and then you gain something, and then you have the power or right to pass it on. You decide who you pass it on to. Um, uh, for example, then uh, it becomes a, already a system of uh, like how the how the decision power travels, and there could be a rule that the uh, the object cannot be passed to uh, repeatedly to someone before it has kind of circled the whole group like and all of these are changing the quality of decision like but now it's in the game which is kind of interesting hey do you uh you have certainly noticed that that in many board games you have this like uh, token uh, that travels every 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 round uh, marking uh, marking who is the first player uh, yeah. uh, during that that round so now now the token uh, uh, travels uh, to to me, and I kind of become the the monarch in that sense. Uh, I I am able to act first, or so on. But also in many games, uh, uh, it is quite useful if if that uh, that one uh, turn is uh, divided into this like. Uh, um, uh, moves, for yeah. instance, uh, it is very good if you you have some resources and you you kind of you pass on your your turn, but you you don't close the turn uh, from your side. You just like pass it on, and hey, I will I will act later, mm. uh, and 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 so on. So so kind of mm, so if uh, if uh, if kind of making a decision uh, uh, somehow. Uh, would could also be uh, in a way uh, like uh, making a new room, kind of proposing proposing kind of uh, alternate variation of that room. Oh, okay, here we I will speculate. Uh, we could take this uh, direction, and then I kind of copy that room and make the 
make my kind of monarch-like uh, decision and, and kind of offer it or, or, or some, something like that, then, then we will see uh, who will come into that room or so on. I, mm. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's an interesting direction, like playing with that. Like it could be like, a, there's like, there are many directions you could take the power in, yeah. like, a, like a, uh, uh, I thought like, okay, there is this item of decision and then there's tokens. And every time you get the past the liquid monarch uh, item and you don't, don't make a decision, then you get a token. And yep. then all the things that are decided, you can place a token upon them and then increases their importance. So we are deciding different things and maybe like we could have a board or a room now, which is the decision space. And only the things that are decided uh, are moved to or or copy to the decision space things that have been decided but then uh, it would be another value that somebody places a token on those things and then those would become more important so um like it's almost like these two boards like people are throwing things in but what the liquid monarch could do is to move it to the decided space like i'll take actually this that you have thrown in and move it to decided space now it's highlighted it's it's kind of potentially in power, but then the tokens could play in the sense of how important they are. And it's hard to say what kind of a space it would create, but it's already yeah. a very different way of making decisions already. Like it would create that because then maybe the things that are moved to the decided are then like statements about something and then it becomes a decision of the opinion or a direction also like whatever it describes yeah uh, and and actually also if it's more like uh, we are not playing against each other here but we are actually trying to find a solution or a process or something like that uh, then then kind of if i'm i'm the monarch and i kind of uh, let's say i stake my uh, voting power in a sense uh, mm -hmm. uh, to be uh, kind of lifted and used later, then then kind of uh, then uh, maybe maybe like uh, someone else can uh, also uh, use my uh, kind of decision, or or mm. maybe that maybe that means that uh, uh, I get to I get to ask a question. Uh, that would help me in order to make a decision from the group and and and, mm. and if if someone can can kind of ask uh, answer or or uh, kind of bring light to the question then maybe that would kind of help yeah that's that's an interesting direction as well and i was thinking like you can already see that some of these directions point out to different uh you could roughly call them psychologies of decision like uh like from that like um uh i think like having this me mechanics roughly speaking would make for example in your case the question kind of more highlighted and important uh, it wouldn't be just a question in any uh like amongst any conversation because it would be kind of like somebody like essentially using resources to do it and I don't think you have to mechanically even underline it. It can happen just by itself. Second kind of psychology that came to my mind is um, like for the, like if you don't use the crown, then when you get the token, this would kind of create this potential psychology that the people who don't want to make a decision, like who want to kind of listen and think about things. So uh, they're kind of hesitant of making decisions they ultimately get a power at the end because they play, they have the most tokens. And this is an interesting psychology because people often who are not the most first making decisions might have the most like considerations. Uh, and in so giving them the to tokens might actually be a useful decision-making thing. Like uh, also, like, yeah, mm. I'll actually write uh, tokens if you don't use your power of decision.
I want to use an impressionist role. And um, I guess it's a both an impressionist role and a what about her. Or no, more like a question, which is a role we don't have. But I just want to try to create an image for these tokens. Like, what are they? Like, how are they materialized in a way that we can um, understand their effect? Because I find them quite interesting. Like yes. what, what image comes to your mind? Jakub, do you have? Yeah, so I actually am doing an uh, out move. I'm, I, I'm muted. No, no, no. Hello, hello. You're okay. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. So, uh, so I'm doing an, an uh, a other non move because I'm moving to a train where I'll try catching Wi Fi. Hopefully, it will work and reconnect hopefully in like mm -hmm. 15 minutes. Okay, so All right. that's my, yeah, well, pseudo move. Uh, that's so okay. Yeah. I hope to see you soon. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Any comments uh, on the image maker? I'm trying to uh, sh shut up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I'm just like um, <laughs> kind of, uh, uh, let's say, Mm, uh, not clear image, but more like uh, something, uh, something. However, like uh, because we have that, uh, we have that uh, image of a crown there. Uh, I'm just thinking, is, is there something that we can kind of uh, derive from there? I mean, I mean, if we think about the uh, kind of uh, feudal uh, ages and 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 so on, so. Uh, crown many times kind of it brings your mind like uh, this like uh, uh, knights and armies and and uh, but also like uh, medieval cities and 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 villages and also the kind of uh, uh, the the farms outside the town and the forests and and so on so so kind of some sort of like uh, I'm not saying land but uh, but I'm saying like uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, what sort of an image for a token uh, could we derive from there uh, in a sense that not to not to kind of uh, 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 replicate anything uh, but uh, but more like uh, what can we would there be some some image that we can kind of twist uh, in a in a way uh, to suit our our needs, something 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 along the lines with uh, the crown and uh, this sort of imagery. If I continue the kind of uh, chain of impressionism started by Pablo and continue from what Mikael was saying, uh, like the token. Um, I mean, token could be really anything. Of course, the first thing that comes to mind is the coins, but like also board game pieces are called tokens. Uh, like um, uh, you could have like a, uh, like for for example, I'm now in impressionistic, so I'm talking out what comes to my mind. For example, if the token was a little phrase, um, and and then actually the what it frames would be important for the token like if i place it on the decided space for example and there was text there and what i would frame with with it would be the one that the token has uh, um, um, emphasizing so like uh, that would make the token also functional I'm not saying it has to be like that but that came to my mind as an impression of this So this this would create a mechanism where if you have the crown and you don't use it, you get a frame. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I like that. And that's that's in a sense very close to the kind of uh, 
kind of uh, in a sense like uh, land or some sort of like uh, building your uh, shared realm or or something like that uh, kind of because we are talking about uh, space where you can write or so on mm -hmm. yeah um, yeah and it's also like actually the one thing that um, this is kind of um, this is what about her? Yes, it is. Like, um, uh, it's interesting to think like certain decision engines might be very suitable for certain kind of things to decide. So, for example, if we were deciding upon a particular text, maybe describing something, maybe even something serious, or in the sense of like, here's our, I don't know, an organizational charter or a draft for one. Or it could be something else. It could be a fictional text. And this would be actually all about creating that fictional text and moving the things to the decided would be moving things to the text itself. Like this, uh, the, the first room would be the draft room and then the second room would be the actual page. Then this decision mechanism is uh, might be really uh, actually good and interesting for that. And having a different decision mechanism might be good for something else and it all matters of what are you deciding upon or it certainly affects the uh, the relation of what is being decided upon and what form does the decision take and what subject does it have versus the decision mechanism um, but these are often not thought because we don't have that many let's say creative ways of making decisions like uh, uh, uh about those like uh frames as coins in a sense i uh, i don't know if this has any any uh if there's any idea here but like uh i just like started uh thinking about uh, uh accounting in a big because we we have decision makers and we have some other other actors who are in uh, in another position because so so uh, the, the, the position is is different from the one who is the the monarch uh, and uh, and and so in a, in a way uh, uh, if uh, the decision maker uh, decides not to uh, use uh, 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 their power uh, to 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 make a decision outright then uh, what if uh, 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 the reward w would be such that uh, 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 a frame uh, would be opened uh, for, for the decision maker uh, 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 and also another frame would be opened uh, to, 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 the, to the group uh, that are not dec decision makers for, for, for them to, let's say, for instance, answer a question or do something else. Like, uh, so I'm, I'm kind of thinking debit and credit in, in, a, in a sense. I don't, I don't know where it will lead, but, but just as an, as an idea. That's a really interesting idea, yeah. Like every time, actually, yeah, that's an interesting direction that you could play that. It, it's like this sort of debit credit structure that every time somebody gets a token, the collective gets a token as well. And then if you have an interesting mechanism for the collective, um, that might be an interesting structure in itself, um, uh, which is a kind of a debit credit. Like, uh, um, uh, as, as like, this is sort of a, overviewer impression but i'll make a temporary role of an overviewer now um it's a really interesting space that we have already created in this sort of uh, like around de create decision making that is cre created because all of these directions now point out like hey actually you can create all kinds of um we call them systems, call them whatever, like of decision making. Uh, um, but it, it, we have kind of populated this space quite quickly. If we would have gone to another direction, we probably would have a very different one. 
but it's kind of pointing out that the space of creative decision systems is quite large. That, that's my uh, contribution as an overviewer. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. I'm curious about, mm, or like how to uh, think of the debit credit frame frames mm -hmm. i guess like so let's say just to see if i got it right i have the liquid crown i decide not to decide <laughs> and then i frame is create i get a frame yes so i did not decide yeah but if i do decide then the rest get a frame or is there always two frames created Mikael, how i have a I thought in my Mikael, how did you think of it? Because you kind of uh, created. Uh, well, well, I uh, uh, thought that uh, that uh, when I decide not to decide, uh, then mm. uh, always two, uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, one and a counter pair kind of uh, would open up. Uh, I, 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 mm, I think what that would uh, mean, for instance, is that uh, when there is an uh kind of uh, when someone recognizes an important question or important topic or or something that you would want to kind of uh, uh, uh kind of put your token into in a in a in a sense when you put your kind of token uh, by not voting into something uh, that we are discussing uh, about uh, then uh, what happens is that like uh, i'm creating a more space uh so I'm actually putting one token uh, somewhere and two tokens kind of uh, appear. Uh, so uh, one for me uh, and and one for the community, the rest of the rest of the people, and and they, and they would be in some sort of like re relation or not. But it would just like mean that uh, that the the oligarch, not the oligarch, but the, <laughs> but but the monarch uh, mm -hmm. would be would be someone who uh, who uh, creates more space uh, around important topics uh, uh, and, and people could then maybe uh, gain new uh, kind of powers of like in in, in terms of like uh, uh, roles or ops that they could apply depending uh, uh is it more like debit or more like credit or whatever you call them uh, and uh, or 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 existing roles could apply but, but just something like creating space maybe i don't know that's actually close what i was thinking uh and in some ways it's more interesting than what i was thinking i was thinking uh, like like the beginning is for me the same like the monarch if they don't use their power to decide uh, they gain this token, and then at the same time, um, the, uh, another token is created, kind of a debit credit that is given to the community, maybe the whole group, and then there is a mechanism to use it. The only difference were, was for me that they don't have to use the token immediately, they can hold it and decide later when there is more. So they gather power. But, uh, but like, I think both yeah. are inter interesting. Uh, uh, the one thing I I would actually highlight to be a highlighter also because you actually made something really interesting, Mikhail. You started like chipping in to create similar structures as debit credit, but with different dimension. Because it's kind of like debit credit in terms of structure, like that there is always a counterpart, and it, it's it's like a it's a double entry bookkeeping also structure, but it's not quite debit and credit in the traditional sense. It's some kind of like uh, uh, one for the power and one for the community to give it an end, a duality, which is an interesting one. Like, and also really interesting in the sense that it makes one think about that actually, like these duality structures that are useful in economics could be something else than simply debit and credit. Yeah. Now I'll, I'll write that down. In, in,
pretty structure. Uh, it's like, and, and would that mean then that, uh, okay, these new frames then appear and, uh, and then, then kind of, uh, uh, for the community or the kind of decision maker or facilitator and uh, uh, but but you wouldn't have to use them right away so mm. they kind of uh, they they kind of become in in, in a sense they uh, they are they they are kind of land uh, where you can then decide when you kind of uh, want to Built on them, maybe. Yeah, it could be. Like, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, yeah, actually, that was the one interesting dimension you were already going into earlier. Comment that you're creating more space, and now, now this land kind of pursues that further. Like, because the, the model I was thinking didn't have that element. So that's a kind oh, of yeah, interesting yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, if we think about the frames maybe we can think not in terms of land but a canvas mm -hmm. and painting inside of them yeah like an, a frame with an empty space that you can create something inside of mm, yeah so so frame canvas uh to, let me uh, um i'll add that to like tokens as canvases just to put in big because that's a good way of kind of uh thinking about the option like mm. uh, and like that the frame canvas um uh is is a new space um still creating new space or yeah no, it what you what you Pablo described it it reminds of me what I understood uh, from your earlier earlier session or how I kind of experienced it that that, that kind of uh, uh, you you have the canvas uh, that is kind of framed but but then you can also go uh, inside the canvas and kind of it, it becomes more like a space. And that's in itself like could be a space that is added to the dungeon in a way. Like if you yeah. would have like a, the organization is this many multiple rooms and suddenly new room is created, which is now still empty potential. But or, yeah. or empty potential is full potential. It's the same as as the granite stone of the sculpture. Mm -hmm. So, so it it has a it would have a kind of uh, this like potentiality of uh, of. Uh, of a passage in a in a sense mm. or or if if the frame has uh, would have a, as a, that is a token uh, if it would be having a, a possibility of uh, of like becoming a, a new uh, a kind of uh, uh, new frame uh, uh, mm. similar to to this this one where we have the puzzle then uh, uh, then it would also imply that what we are doing now, this uh, this whole thing here, this yeah. puzzle would also be a token or accessed with uh, by a with a token or something mm. like that. Yeah, it would be like also almost like a license to create new rule, um, yeah. like like at the same time. I and this created to my mind like an image actually, um, uh, which is. Like it is a kind of a dungeon, but it's almost like an operative dungeon um, that it, in a way like it, uh, like you can also think of it as like people walking it are going from operative states or process state to another process state. Like now, now somebody coming into this room is um, diving into this style of decision, but then when they go to another room, they dive into another kind of a process state, which is like uh, an interesting thought in it. Yeah. Mm. Uh, one one more thing, uh, kind of in order to have the mm, uh, the kind of uh, to 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 keep the functionality uh, as uh, say like uh, 
as a part of like uh, this uh, this puzzle here. Uh, uh, I don't know, but it, it kind of it, it it's all also a, a cool thing, uh, or or so if 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 the token could also like be uh, only only a, a kind of uh, a frame inside this frame, or I I mean just something that you can uh, move and and edit uh, according to these ops that we see here. In, in, mm. in a sense, because uh, if you, or I, I don't know, but if you if you create a token uh, that every time uh, creates a new uh, uh, room and mm. another room, uh, then uh, it's kind of uh, it it goes away from this room, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> I don't know, but I mean, you could, you could also create the pocket universe, like a room inside yeah. the room, but 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 it's yeah. still adding to the space. Yeah. Of, of course, That's true. then you could add the option that you can uh, get the token as a frame or a canvas. That you could add a room, or you could uh, make something emphasize something in inside a room, even the decided room. And even even the maybe I'll make it as an image. The 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 room of uh, I'll make it here as a side room and call it uh, like uh, it, with caps the decided mostly to like re remember that idea because it's an interesting idea that if this room for example would function in a way that like things from the other room could be copied into the decided and it's 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 therefore kind of filtered space but it's an interesting thing to think about it in this uh, room model because it suddenly changes the functionality of this room or 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 adds to the functionality of this room that it's a it's a like say we were creating a text whether it's a charter or a fic, uh, like a text of fiction because this could be a really interesting way to create the text of fiction and the decided is the space that is the actual text and this is more the, the writer's back room yeah. and and but this mechanism is the one that kind of decides what goes into the decided um like uh you would probably with this for example end up with very interesting or at least very different texts uh, overall that would come from there um it's it's a, and it kind of opens up as as a kind of a, almost like a side view uh, that there is this games of creating text. Uh, of course, games of creating many things like creating different decision styles, but even from that you could narrow down like different games that l lead to a different text by the fact of changing the way it, they are quote unquote written or produced. I'm kind of uh, thinking about this like uh, storytelling games and also like role playing games kind of there seems to be like uh, elements from uh, both of them uh, in a sense a storytelling game because because uh, the monarch uh, uh, is uh, some something that like uh, the, the, it's a role that uh, kind of uh, switches in a sense uh, uh, between actors and then and then, and then again, but uh, as such, like uh, Monarch uh, also re reminds me of a, a game master in a mm. in a sense. It's kind of uh, be, just because uh, when I when I uh, when I am a game when I am a game master, uh, I I make uh, different sorts of like uh, notes in uh, into my own. A notebook or something, uh, and then then the players then again they uh, uh, make different sorts of like uh, uh, notes, uh, but uh, but then again many times uh, as an as a game master uh, when it's my turn to be game master then uh, I also decide that hey uh, uh, this is something where I more like. Uh, for now, I, I will kind of sit back and watch uh, and 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 see uh, where the uh, players are are taking this like discussion or this like events or or uh, 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 how they will unfold, and then 
uh, so kind of I will I will I will pass my turn uh, decide not to do something or mm. or to decide something. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, I I also put a corridor between the decided and the this dungeon room to uh, like because one could play with the corridors to just to put this idea. I called it a corridor of decision. But but I I do think like there is a kind of I agree with you that there is a kind of this quality of game mastery um, in this or or this sort of like being able to like uh, forcefully insert something or then uh, like hold back and leave the decision and and of course like um, because all the parts that we have are changeable. Like you could try this out, change one part, and then it would create different de de uh, results. Yeah. Like it, it's it's really like a machine, and you can tune it, and then tuning it would create like different kinds of uh, whatever they create, text or something else. But it's also like as an overview, um, just this image that now this is also now a card. Like all that we created is a card, and somebody else could get this card probably polished a bit, and maybe with some description and instruction, and then they could place it, and this could be part of uh, a playful or not playful whatever organization in a way, like uh, as a kind of um, process state of decision, um, uh, and uh, and maybe they modify it, of course, maybe they don't. Like doesn't really matter, but it's a it kind of opens up the spectrum of like we have created a card that could be a deck of them um, it's yeah it's really interesting but now i'm talking too much i should mm -hmm. shut up yeah but uh yeah and uh, this, i i really like the idea about like uh cards because or or designing cards because uh kind of let's say that uh, this game is about designing the cards mm -hmm. then there uh, that means that there is also the some sort of like uh, even if it's not like implemented there is the idea of a uh, kind of uh, starting to to then like using these cards mm -hmm. not just like designing them and then the, uh, and or or that there is uh, some sort of like a, a play mode that uh, people are are thinking uh, and, uh, and 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 uh, and this is this is interesting which then could be uh, a kind of a, a could become uh, from the or or kind of what are we designing them for these uh, these cards or these puzzles what are they for and then as you had that uh, you have a um, uh, there is a, we had a task there like uh, 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 regarding processes and uh, a process of decision and uh, and and decide upon a, an idea or direction and, and so on but uh, yeah it's, it's like different play modes like you know minecraft has the i can't remember what they call them but the kind of like an adventure mode and then construction mode. and there are two different ways to play the one is like you're much more free in terms of constructing the environment and the other one is like you're really more in the environment and uh, like having an adventure like it's the same here in a way like the puzzle set here was maybe like semi-intentionally made to be kind of designing puzzle to, to test out this sort of playing as designing or designing as playing because it uh, um, and also this sort of kind of almost like a, a archetypal question is like what kind of decision model we have and put it that as a decision decision or sorry a design play element because i think it was kind of interesting to test that like because these are the things that games don't usually do they don't usually create um uh, structures for other things certainly for for example decision models and and they uh, it's rarer that they design by themselves but we could just as well like maybe there is no puzzle but there are just these rules 
that we leave here or maybe polish and then leave and then it's just you know for the adventure mode for the playing of it like of course people could still switch the design and change some things that they don't like or add a role or whatever ever they do but it's still like possible to uh, approach it more from um uh, playing it uh, by itself yeah it, uh, from there like uh it's it's uh, some I, I it's fascinating fascinating to think about like uh, those like uh, if you have more like this sort of like uh, uh, governing type of like token and more like this sort of like uh, community building token uh, in a sense uh, if you kind of uh, think of them as uh, as a kind of um, some sort of like uh, objects or or, or places then then kind of uh, that like uh, community building uh, within certain frames that would open up more like just like um, building building this like uh, uh, like uh, villages or 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 some sort of like uh, whatever spaces and yeah. and and also like a communication uh, uh, forums uh, and and uh, and uh, uh, and this sort of like activity between people actually and uh, and then again uh, then again that like uh, that uh, monarch uh, type of like uh, uh, tokens would lead more into like uh, dealing with uh, adjusting or creating like uh, rules Mm -hmm. but but of course those rules have to be kind of negotiated uh, with the with uh, with the communities uh, uh, needs and, and desires and, and and so on so uh, in a sense that uh, that the govern uh, uh, governing is actually maybe uh, serving uh, the community from a just from a different like uh, uh, perspective so that it's uh, a matter of like uh, negotiating and what's interesting is that uh, if uh, if uh, if the monarch is a token that some, somehow like travels uh, from player to player that would also mean uh, that also the the uh, people all the people uh, end up uh, uh, kind of owning both uh, uh, governing tokens and governing spaces, mm. and uh, and uh, the community tokens and community spaces, and 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 uh, and they can then like uh, focus their attention to their attention to uh, equally or or decide something else. Yeah, the, that is a highly interesting direction. It opened a kind of branch also in my mind is like you know like even thinking about this model. And like if there is the space that say it's setting these rules as you said like if the if the monarch was like setting rules but you could have a game afterwards where people say they all had certain amount of tokens maybe um, and they would have to place their tokens but when they place a token next to a rule it would mean that this is a rule that they adhere to and um and like it could be a kind of a way of uh um uh, calibrating the space of rules that the rules would become this potential but then placing your tokens the next to them would kind of make you adhere to the rules and there is probably a interesting decision structure that way or definitely is uh it's just like something to uh that could be figured out but this kind of also i'm thinking to, towards going to a closure but uh because I've been talking so much off oh, now we got Jakub back to towards that but but Pablo did you have something to say because I've been certainly talking enough I do I'm, I'm thinking of um, a generalized way of thinking about this system which is asymmetric in nature because you have like a monarch and the rest and that system is also switching mm -hmm. so then it's like distributed asymmetry mm -hmm. in a way that like it's a different way of achieving symmetry while retaining characteristics 
of an asymmetric system. Like I find it rather interesting. Yeah, and that is true. Yeah. Yeah, probably applicable to like probably just one type of distributed asymmetric systems, right? This yeah. one is distributed through, I mean, we could do it by turns. Maybe the liquid monarchy is a turn and you get it every round. Maybe it's an item, maybe it's a power, maybe it's an ability. Like there's many ways of distributing it, but definitely, yeah, I mean, just, I was thinking about that. Yeah, I, I, I think this whole thought of, I put it as system of distributing asymmetry. I put it in the operative dungeon uh, rooms uh, next to it as kind of this sort of interesting notions that rise up from here. Mm, but like as a general thing, like bringing kind of things together towards a closure, I think there is one thing I wanted to highlight towards that is that like many of these, many of these kind of things that we relate to, well, organizations certainly, but to many human conventions, let's put it that way. Um, there, there is a kind of like a, like a certain resistance for them to change. And when you bring this kind of a system and you bring the play also in, and you're kind of forcing you yourself to move out of the box. Suddenly you're approaching decision, but you're forced out of the box, like in, using the term, like thinking out of the box. Um, that, and I think that's kind of, uh, uh, illustrates what happened in, in the sense that, okay, we had this puzzle, so to speak, of a process of decision, but because uh, the system of play forced us out of the box, and that was certainly the system more than just saying not voting. It, uh, if we would have pursued voting, it probably would have been very different also. Like, uh, but uh, uh, then that kind of breaks this uh, resistance of the convention just by the system kind of like almost like forcibly moving you to think about things you would otherwise would not think of. And like saying create any kind of a system doesn't really do it. You just feel like, well, what? Um, but here it kind of happens by itself and you suddenly come up with this sort of creative ideas that might be very hard to come up with otherwise. And that is really interesting, like as, as almost like a machine of taking something that resists change that kind of holds to so many practices and conventions and putting it here and then kind of like forcing it to go somewhere creative. I see Jakub added, I'm um, oh, sorry, that was Pablo probably who added the dungeon map. Yeah, just continuing with the liquid theme, it's the water temple of the Legend of Zelda for <laughs> enough time. <laughs> yes, a classic dungeon for a certain population, which is large because it's all the Zelda players that played this game probably remember this. Yeah. <laughs> But that, that's an interesting addition, like that's a whole nother topic, like to start to take this sort of physicalities that you have in this, like, I mean, what's a temple place with the water level? So what could you do with the water level? Because the, un, inside the water is very different than outside the water and there's different mechanics to change it, like, and all these things. Um, but, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it is a narrow, of the last session's last engine of things, uh, but it it it's still like a uh, like opening up a huge space. But it's it's a, also kind of more you can kind of see the game of these cards, the cards being created, then cards being shared, people creating wacky organizations, but then those turning up to forcing them to think about the organization in different ways. Um, by and being able to play the organization and maybe deciding after that to be the organization with some changes, which is uh, is a really interesting arc in a way. Any other summarizing, evaluating, commenting thoughts?
or other kinds of thoughts, whatever comes to mind. I'm very happy for today's session. Thank you so much. Yeah, me too. It was great. Yeah, I, I'm also I'm really happy, and I'm, it's I'm also really happy that it's kind of proving, like putting a couple of elements. Uh, like said, it's it's a rich soil, but now like this is kind of more proof of in in the pudding in a way, like in in the real life. Like now, just putting these elements is is already kind of forcing this sort of creativity and and opening. Like I I know that after this, I will think about these directions of decision mechanism because these have been really interesting um, uh, interesting uh, directions. I haven't. And, and some of them I've never really thought at all. Like so, and and being in such an important area as making decisions is kind of interesting. And when you get something open there, it's an opening new openings in a big area or important area at least. Um, so yeah, uh, and look at how creative we were. Like, how many people can say like quickly coming up with gazillion directions of new decision making uh, um, so uh, I had another <laughs> that was completely different but maybe we can leave that for later uh, because yeah this was certainly something and um, maybe it's it's good to uh, take this as something to think about but there is this is definitely even uh, like there is a clear direction one can see that it can be turned into even a game game if one wants to yeah like and and that will probably be better be, uh, that this is because this is so early like just rough pieces so hey thanks everyone also Jakub and thanks to your train and the internet it provides even if it's jig jiggly um, um, I will now re release some pressure by stopping the sharing and pause uh, stopping the recording.